Why does your spinal cord look like that? It's actually quite interesting. The spinal cord is a crucial part of the central nervous system, stretching from the brainstem down to the lower back, while being protected by three layers, the dura mater, arachnoid mater, and pia mater. Now, if you just stare at the spinal cord, you'll find all these bumps and grooves which are all formed based on how packed the nerves are on that specific region. The spinal cord has 31 segments, each giving rise to a spinal nerve that exits through the opening of the vertebral column. Taking a distant look, you'll find two enlargements, the cervical and lumbosacral, which are packed with nerves that control your limbs. These nerves branch into four main types, the ventral branch for limbs and trunk, dorsal branch for the back, the white ramus for involuntary organs, and the meningeal branch for the spinal meninges. So if you take this hammer and knock on the patellar tendon on the knee, you will activate a reflex arc in the spinal cord, which help with a quick automatic response, assessing whether the nerves function as they're supposed to. Subscribe for more.